work. He met Penny. He's been working, learning English, learning construction. He has great skills. But he was separated from his wife and daughter for how many years, Teddy? Seven years. Seven years. And he persevered and persevered and went over. And so, Teddy, why don't you begin there, if you don't mind? Uh, first thing I want to tell you about uh, separate with my wife and the refugee camp. When I've been here, uh, when I wasn't arriving here in June 27, 2000, yeah, 27, 2007. And, uh, I don't know what's going on over there, and uh, how how can I get my wife to get stay safe, peace, and you know better life in the U.S. How can I bring that over here? Hard for me. So we are married, but we have a tradition, a different last name in the U.S. When you try to try to apply for uh, uh, for people to bring in the U.S., so you send your wife, but the last <coughs> name is different, so they keep denying. So I had to apply. I tried to apply for about like almost seven years. Try to call the IRS, USCIS. Like uh, sometime it take like a day to get one only one time to ask, answer me. We have a we have done really nice, and she right now she live with me for almost uh, three months right now. So. Um, very happy, and you know, thanks God a lot for that too. So me and my wife, we, we, we grew up in refugee camp, we met in refugee camp. My wife, she <coughs> come here first. I was staying in the refugee camp and she was here. And she cried every day. And I cannot, we cannot communicate with each other the first time. And uh, when she got here, she had to work, working hard, and she sent me some money, and then I, I buy one for. So you cannot have a phone, right? it's a lot of expensive in Thailand, so she work here, working hard, and then uh, send me the phone, and then I got a phone, and then I, I can communicate to her. There's, there was about, how many, two or three years that she was here, and she pregnant here, and she had to work with, uh, I wasn't here. So me, I, I live in refugee camp, and then I have to, I cannot communicate with her in the, the place that we live. I have to go on the mountain. He is my best friend. So tell you is my best friend. I have to call him to come with me to climb up mountain so I can communicate with my, my wife and children. The, the international is to find me the job and then I start working and uh, I working at a spot fair company, Murphy Land in uh, Kalkopol. For s the seven years, I have only one job in there. We just wait in the border right across right across the uh, border line and he said it's yeah, hard to get to find water you gotta go down and, uh, or like almost like a day to get water to bring it over to the women and children there's to a get lot of water there's a lot of people die over there mm -hmm. and uh, by the time i was uh, seven or nine years but the same age with henry because i have my grandma and i have my three sister uh, uh, three uh, brother sister and my mom and uh, me and my cousin <clears throat> and my uncle, we had to go down to uh, to the river. It take a day to bring the water. You can, you, I can only bring like two or three later. It's heavy to bring it over to the pier. By the time you bring the water to to the to the border, is it maybe you drink your half already? <laughs> maybe half for them. <laughs> so. One of our very first children to be a part of the school, but she was a whole new experience for us. She was. One, the only child that was rescued from another land where people prayed and hoped for a better life and they would be safe and come to a country that would welcome them. Everyone hold out your arms and love them and help keep them safe and happy and secure. Because of her and because of them, we now have 14 friends that have traveled and been rescued and brought here from another land in Burma who are now part of my school.